everybody. It's a Cyrus at 15 Minutes to Show. Guess what? Guess where we are? We're in the Baldwin Hills, Coran Shaw Plaza area in front of the MAAA, that is Museum of African American Art. Now, I want to know before I start talking about their history, what's everybody been out there doing? The weather's been hardly gnarly here in LA. It's been raining like mad, but we happen to have a really crisp kind of day today. I also wanted to mention that we, I was watching a documentary on the Spark Channel about AIs, robots, and androids, and I wonder if artists, they had showed one AI, he was capable of conducting an entire orchestra. So let's not forget our history and things that are most important to us, which is why it is so important to do things like have a Black History Month and Black History Every Day, but we're doing work with what we have. So we have Black History Month today. We're going to go inside of the MAAA, and we're going to focus on the founder, Dr. Samela Lewis, who I love, love, love her story. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Okay, so follow me. Let's go. So walk with me while I talk and tell you about the history of this fabulous museum. I mean, you have no idea. Talking about black folks doing stuff back in the day, Dr. Samela Lewis, notice the name, a Dr. Samela Lewis was the founder of this museum. She founded it, I believe it said May of 1976. And uh, herself, a group of artists, historians, cultural people in the community, community leaders got together and they thought it would be a great idea to establish an African-American Museum of Art. So, Dr. Lewis traveled extensively to different cultures. She was an educator, herself an artist herself, a historian, I believe you would call her more maybe figurative artist in, in that language for things like that. This museum is probably one of the most under talked about in my opinion, especially with Dr. Samuel Lewis being a woman of color and doing all that she did. Her legacy is very strong. They are presenting right now the feature of the museum. They are showing the Metro Arts Line K. It's called Metro Arts K. It is all of the artists that represent the area along the Crenshaw Boulevard line where it used to be, I think she said it was Metro and LEX. Now the director of the museum, her name is Keisha Dumas Heath, H-E-A-T-H is the last name. She was very kind to fill us in on some more information on Dr. Lewis and what she did. One of the things she really does is she was a great storyteller and educator and a lot of the interviews that you'll find online about her were done in her home where she herself got to talk about her experiences with other artists, working with different people bringing the legacy of African-American artists to light, bringing the culture of African-American artists to the world actually and it's one of those few places in LA that um, we tend to overlook. Dr. Lewis thought and other people in the community thought it would be a great idea to have a place for the local artists, to, for local African-American artists to showcase their works. She was a great mentor to different people and I personally always thought that it would be difficult to be an artist and then have to mentor other artists with the various levels of artistry that can come about, the various egos and things that artists have and I think it takes a very special person like a Dr. Samuel Lewis to be able to uh, pull that from people. I don't want to be young again. A lot of things happen. I spent a lot of time in the French quarters looking at the art that people were doing. I can't tell you too much about it because I haven't realized it yet. <laughs> I'm just, I, I start the painting and I sit and look and decide what I'm gonna do next to it and how I'm gonna work on it and, and, and what, what it's gonna become. 
uh, this all I know is going to be have something to do with the boy, and he's going to be outdoors. But I don't know. I have not uh, realized who he who he is, or who he was, or whatever. It's I'm just sort of working in patches on it, you know. We're back. Also, another trivial, or trivial, trivia that we want to talk about is the works of Palmer C. Hayden, a painter that um, actually did a whole 12 collection series on John Henry. So he did a whole 12 collection series, very well done. And then the museum, um, they started, you know, they collect um, ceremonial objects, masks, carvings from South America, the Caribbean, the South Pacific, and Africa and the U.S. So they have, we have quite a bit of range of artistry and information that one can gather when they come to the Museum of African American Art. So again, we are focusing on the life and story of Dr. Samela Lewis. I wanted to focus on her, especially this month being Black History Month, and I think it's a great idea to have that so we can find different people that you and I might not have heard of. How would we ever know about Dr. Samela Lewis if we weren't able to come to this kind of museum and they hadn't founded the museum? So in case any of you want to come see the show on the Metro Art Show, I believe it's going until May. We lost Dr. Lewis in May of 2022, so she hasn't been gone from us that long. But thank goodness she has left her spirit and her courage and uh, sensitivity to art and the uh, cultural, cultural needs of the artistic community to the director and other people here. So if you want to come by, don't forget, there are two exhibitions. Well, there's one exhibition presently being shown. That is the Metro Arts here in Now Artist K. And also, uh, you can come and see at some point in time and at any time the works of Palmer um, C. Hayden, I think his name was, the painter, who has the collectives that we spoke of earlier. So for those of you who want to come by to the museum, it is located in the Baldwin Hills Plaza, Suite 28. Three, I believe the address is 650 Crenshaw Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. Also, don't forget to hit me up. Go check me out on IG, Osiris underscore Munir underscore the painter. And I will be exhibiting myself also with a written article on Jinko, the organization that is uh, run by uh, Aman Onayama and uh, is fueled uh, also by uh, actors and uh, activists uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor and David Oyelowo. Uh, we also will be showing my work at the ACA Gallery next Wednesday if any one of, any one of you want to come by from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Bergamot Station in Santa Monica. Don't forget, hit me up. Don't forget to push the channel, like what I'm talking about. I cannot do this without you. We gotta keep the numbers rolling, people. So until then, I'll see you next time. Take care and don't be a slouch. Get out and make things happen. See you soon, bye.